Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about multi-dimensional arrays. Um, multi-dimensional arrays, in my opinion, are much easier to work with than the jagged arrays are because of the fact that they are more structured um, in the fact that you can't have multi multiple um, different sized arrays in each um, in each element of the, the original array, whereas in the jagged one you could have like the first array would be size 5 and then the other one would be 4 and then 10 and 8 or whatever. In the multidimensional array they have to be the same. Um, so declaring a multidimensional array you do the brackets and then you have your comma. The comma designates what um, what size of the array you want and um, to tell which dimension it is I guess you could say or the size you take the number of commas plus one so this is a 2d array because there's one comma plus one is two um, so then you pick a name obviously and then you do oops, new int same thing as before except you have to insert your comma again and you can actually make an array of size 4, 2. So there's your multi-dimensional array with four rows and two columns. Um, but I think the best way to do it would be um, to do it like this. Let me make a new array and declare it basically the same way. 2D S, let's just call it S. Um, equals new int. Let me put a space here so it lines better. New int um, comma blank. And then this is, you put each element of an array inside curly braces, and you declare it inside the curly braces, <clears throat> and each set of curly braces within that tells you the, the element, more or less. Um, hold on. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness, I didn't know it was going to do that. Oh nice. Okay. Whoa! Oh, oh my goodness! How frustrating! It wasn't doing this earlier. Okay, I forgot a comma. That's why I did that. Comma. Okay, here we go. Now it's gonna work. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Now let's insert our commas inside the array itself. And I know it's giving me errors right now. That's okay. Okay, so this is an array of four rows and two columns. Here's the first one and the second one. This is the best way to do it graphically. Um, but once you get into 3D arrays, it's um, more the way you do it graphically, like if you want it to be organized in your text, it's confusing, much more confusing than that. Um, so let's so let me go ahead and just show you how this would line up as numbers of rows versus number column number. So this is the first row and the first column. So you do zero, zero. This is going to be zero because it's still the first row. 1, because it's the first, the second column, because it starts with 0, remember. Um, this one's going to be 1, 0, because it's the first sec uh, second row, which is number 1, still the first column. This one's going to be 1, 1, second column, second row, second row, second column. This is going to be 2, 0. This is going to be 2, 1. This is going to be 3, 0. Oh, gosh. And... 3, 1. Okay. And that's basically how it looks. First row, first column, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, um, to change the um, the actual element in the array, it's a little... like, just, just the way it looks is kind of confusing to me. So let's do... Um, Two, uh, one, I guess. 
equals, just to say, 25. Okay, so what this does is it goes into the second row, or sorry, um, the row, not the second row, but the row number two, which is actually going to be the third row, and then it goes into the column number one, which is the first one. So this one would change from 21 to 25. So you'd have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 5, 3, 0, and 3, 1. So that's how that works. Now let me show you the 3D array. Hopefully I won't mess up because this one is slightly confusing. Array, th oops, 3D equals new int, comma, comma, there we go. And let me just put random numbers in here. Two, two. Let me change this to a three so I don't have to do as much work. <laughs> okay. So this declares an array of three columns, or three rows, two columns, and then four, whatever you want to call the third one. And so since you can't type in 3D, when you, if you want to do it the way, if you want to do it um, just going ahead and declaring all the elements in the array ahead of time, um, you have to do it very carefully. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so you start with the first one, right? So then here's your second one. But remember, you have two of these. Uh, yes. N yes, you have two of them. I'm, s I'm confusing myself now. Okay. Why did I type three? Okay. Three rows. Okay, so you have three rows. Uh, <laughs> I'm confusing myself now. Hold on. I apologize for my my stupidity. I'm not my stupidity. I'm I'm really tired right now. Um, okay, and it was a long day. Had a very exciting, eventful day at school, starting at about eight o'clock. So, and it wasn't eventful in a good way either. Uh, so it's kind of got me a little off today. Sorry. Okay. So this is your three rows by two columns, shoot, two columns, but then you have a, a third one, three rows, two columns, yeah, then you have this third number, which is your two, so what you actually have to do is in each of these, you have to put in another array, or another set of curly braces. Oh my gosh, so many errors. Why did you do that? Okay. So now you have three rows, two columns, with two Z's or whatever. I guess you could use this as Y, X, and Z. <clears throat> so now we put in numbers into each of these. Three, four, Three, four. Um, give me a moment. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Okay, I wasn't doing it wrong. Thank goodness. Okay, I just it was the, all the braces were confusing me, um, which probably shows you that you might not want to use these a whole lot. Um, but anyways, I hope this helps better uh, a little bit. This is your first row, which is zero. This is your second row, which is <clears throat> sorry, um, number one. This is your third row, number two. Now, the way this is inside here, the, these are lined up. Now, the ones on the inside of the rows are lined up such that this is going to be your column, and this is going to be your Z. I'm just going to call it a Z because it, it, graphically it would be going backwards into the space. Okay, so now this is going to be column 0, as you see the second number. Column 0 again, column 0 again. Um,
Mm-hmm. Scratch that again. Sorry. Uh, there's just no good way for me to do this. You'd actually have to draw a picture. Okay, so this is the first one. This is row zero, column zero, um, Z zero. This is row zero, column one, Z zero. Uh, this is row one, row zero, column zero, Z one. This is row zero, column one, Z one. So actually, this would be this would be the Z's increasing, and this would be the columns increasing. Again, this is row one zero zero um, one zero one because your your Z's are increasing on this side. Here, your columns and rows are the same, but your Z's increasing again. <clears throat> so your columns increase this way. Now that I've actually figured this out, I'm very sorry. Your Z's increase going up and down within in, within each row. The Z increases going up and down uh, from the first line to the second line, and your columns increase going from the left to the right. So this one's zero, this one's one. Now this is your zero Z and your one Z. Your z zero columns are here, one columns are here, zero column or zero Z's and one Z's. Ones. Uh, your zero column, your one column, your uh, zero z and your one z. So as you can see, this is very complicated past two d arrays. Um, I actually have a friend who likes. He's going. He's going to go into computer science wherever he can get into. He's very smart. Um, Actually, I have three friends, but the one I'm talking about, uh, three of them who want to go into computer science, but the one I'm talking about, he, he codes all the time. Like, he's, this is what he does for his pastime, basically, because he really, really likes it. Um, he's efficient at it, but if he tried to explain it to you, he would not be able to because he's just like that. He doesn't like explaining things to people. Um, he's an elitist, I guess you could say. Anyways, he... He's he programs games a lot, and usually whenever people teach arrays, my teacher every time we learned arrays or something about arrays, they said, "Oh, they're used in games a lot." Well, he actually makes games. He's made his own asteroid game. He's made a platform game. He's working on some other game. Uh, he's in video game design class right now with my other friend, some of my other friends, and he says that he never uses arrays for anything. He says he just said. Why would you want to use an array? So, um, don't take that as you'll never use an array. He hasn't even gone to college yet, but uh, there are definitely ways around it if you just really can't use an array because you just you just don't understand it. That's okay. Um, this this is the three D array is the hardest one to grasp, especially due to the fact that I cannot type in three D. Um, I hope the way I did it here is a lot easier. Just remember the Z's increase going up and down within each row and the um, the columns increase going left and right within each row. Now I'm gonna pause it for a second and I'm gonna see real quick if I can even make a dent in a 4D array um, just so I can show you what it would look like <laughs> and just to show you how much trickier these things get <clears throat> as you go into them so I'll be right back okay I'm back uh, I did it It took me about six and a half minutes I believe um, I made a 4d array with four rows two columns two Z's and two um, Let's just say L's. Okay. So here is your first row, first column, which is denoted by 0, 0 on every single one of these as the first two numbers are 0. This is going to be your first 
z. This is going to be your second z. This um, going up and down is your first uh, l and your second l. This is still first row, second column, so 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 on all of them. Um, your first Z, second Z, first L, second L. This is the second row, first column, so 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Then your first Z, first Z, second Z, second Z, first L's, second L's, and you see the pattern continues. I didn't even have room, have enough room to fit it, fit it on the screen. I'm doing 640 by 480 recording, and even though I am doing that on my big 19-inch monitor, I can't can put it all on the same same screen, which is r highly ridiculous. So, as you can see, you won't really want or have any need or practical application for going higher than 2D, possibly 3D. Um, I hope this um, was a good demonstration of the multidimensional array and how totally big it can get and how cumbersome it is. Um, you may not ever use it ever. I don't. I don't know. My friend doesn't know. He's never used it, but he codes more than I do. Um, <clears throat> but he's never used it either. But that doesn't mean you won't ever use it, and that doesn't mean that you don't need to know it. Um, <clears throat> just because it gives you a better understanding of the language if you know it. So um, I'm going to leave it here. Not sure what I'm going to do for my next tutorial I might combine the multidimensional and jagged array but I'm not sure because I don't like jagged array but it would probably be a good idea for me to demonstrate it to you all so um, I'm still considering my options for my next language or next subject thing so please send me a message on YouTube not Facebook like I said YouTube or comment on my wall on uh, on my channel on YouTube and just say um, just name a language or name a subject um, be as specific as possible if there's a certain part of a subject that you want then say that but um, until next time I will see you guys later